All right. It's your boy Raven. And um, this is going to be What If Ed and Al Were in My Hero Academia. All right. And this is going to be... um. So this is how it's going to work, all right? It's going to take place in the world of... Well, not the whole thing. The beginning is going to be in the world of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. All right? So it's going to be a kind of a... Well, I, I, I'll just I'll just start the story, all right? So it's the same thing that happens um in canon, all right? Uh, no, Al, you know, he he's gone right now at this point, and he, right now they're fighting father, and um Al did the same um transmutation he did on his soul or his body or whatever, so um Ed can get his hand. And legs, I built and legs back, right? So he could um escape from that fucking um pipe or whatever that was stuck in his hand, so he and he couldn't get out. And after that, you know, it's just beating the shit out of father, you know, but father actually gets um a really good attacking, all right. And it just it does enough damage to where it it it, it can actually be a it's a it's a fatal blow. All right, it's a it's a fatal blow, and the only reason Ed isn't feeling any pain right now is because of all the adrenaline and anger he has right now towards father. And at this point, this is where um everything so far right now is um going so far as he as in canon, you know. Father is now defeated. I forgot what happened. It's been a minute since I watched it. All right, and um, Ed is mortally, you know, he has a really he has a fatal wound right now. Okay, and um, his dad and um, um, that fucking that chick with the panda. I forgot who it was. Shaming, uh, Shaming. I I don't know. I forgot. We're just gonna call the chick with the panda. Um, you know, and, um, his dad, um, Hohenheim, you know, they're they're trying to heal him because, um, you know, they're just trying to heal him, you know, and they notice that it's not working, you know, the wound's too fatal, you know, all that they could do is just, um, delay the inevitable, you know, and Ed says, stop, you know, he needs to get Al back, he's, um, you know, because while they were healing him, that, that's what he thinks to himself. How is he going to get Al back? And that's when he gets the idea and just tells him to stop healing him. And he says, you guys can heal me or whatever you want after I get Al back. And that's when um, Ed does the transmutation circle, you know, where he's going to transmute himself, I believe was transmuting himself, well, he just uses alchem- alchemy on his, on his self, I can't talk right now, on himself, and, um, he sees, um, then that's where he enters, um, where truth is, that pocket dimension, I'm calling it pocket dimension, I'm not sure what it is, um, you know, and this is what truth says, you're here, alright, it's about time, now, Tell me, what are you going to give up this time? Your heart, your legs, and arm again? Your whole body? Tell me what. And Ed says, just like in canon, pointing to his, to his, the, the gate of truth, or his portal of truth. Yeah, his portal of truth. And says this, and truth is saying, are you sure you? You'll be nothing more than a lowly human if you give that up. And he gives the same answer as he does in the anime. A lowly human. That's all I that's all I ever have been. Just a lowly human who knows alchemy. And just like in canon, Truth is so excited to hear this answer. And, you know, just says, go right over there. That's where the exit is. That's where you'll find your brother, you know? Same as in canon. And... You know, Ed is 
running towards it, and Alice too, you know. Ed and Al came back. Everybody's excited, you know. Now the Hohenheim is f- focusing on trying to heal Ed, okay? But Al's body in this vision is, you know, he's basically on death door. You know, they in this vision, they it, it's been too long since the soul and body have been separated from each other. And you could you could tell and at the and Al's just like dying at this point. He's he really is. They can't do nothing about it. And so is Ed. And they um and Ed says and Ed realizes this, you know, he knows that it how his body is that Ed's Al's gonna die. And he says, I'm sorry, Al Guess I couldn't get your body back in time. And Al says this to him. Doesn't matter. You kept your promise. Even until the end. At least we can go out together now, brother. <laughs> and Al just, and Ed says, Yeah, I guess you're right. As they both just slowly close their eyes there. And die. Alright. They just. They die right there. With a. With a smile on their faces. Because they got their original bodies back. And. This is um when they wake up. You know. They see truth there again. They're back there. And Ed and Elle are. Confused now saying. Why are we here? What did we do? What's going on? And Truth just shows up and says, Well, Helric brothers, to tell you the truth, I kind of got a liking for you guys. You did everything you can to get your brother's body, your body's back. And now you died. Well, I'm a generous guy, so I guess I'll give you guys a second chance at life. And Ed and Al are kind of confused, saying, what do you mean by that? And Truth just says, don't worry, you'll see soon enough. And then this is where, um, their, um, a transmutation circle, well, what, uh, yeah, transmutation circle is, um, surrounding them, you know? And says, don't worry, you guys won't lose any of your bodies or memories. And I'll even give you guys a gift, too. And that's when he, um, and what they don't know is, um, that he's giving them the, their portal of truths, alright? He's giving them back, because I'm not sure if Al gave his up. Did he? I'm not sure. Either way, let's just say he did. And before they, I guess, yeah, before they leave, and Al, uh, not Al. Ed says, um, yeah, Ed, um, says, wait, what are you doing? And Truth says, I am all. I am nothing. I know, I know it's how it goes. I guess you could call me God. The universe. Nothing. I forgot how his speech goes, but it was pretty, really, it was really cool, and I don't want to mess it up. Damn it. So, yeah, he says, um, I am God. I am the universe. I am Truth. And I guess that even makes me you too. So in this version, we're just going to say that he's basically omnipotent uh, somewhat, you know. And he teleports them into the My Hero world, you know. Yeah. And um, they are kids again. And they, um... They're, oh, should I make them have parents or should they be like kids that grew up in an island or some shit? You know what? They just wake up in 
and Allie. No, should we nerd? No, no, I'm, I'm giving them parents, all right? I'm giving them parents, all right? And they wake up to where they see Hohenheim and their mother, whose name I forgot, but I will remember in the next one. You know, and at this point there, let's see. I'll just say they're like four years old. Yeah, four, four or five. I'll do five. Yeah, well, I'll do five years old. Okay, and um, they um, they have memories of their past life. Yes, you know. And right now they're like probably freaking. They're freaking out trying to figure out what's going on. Well, on the inside, you know. But but they're just going. Well, Al, Ed's going along with it. I was still sleeping. And. And that's when it hits him. He's like, where's that? Where's Al? And then. He just sees Al. Um, sleeping. Um, in the living room. Alright, cause. Yeah. It's just a bigger version of their own house. In Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Their original house. It's just a bigger version of that. That's about it. And. And yeah, and Ed wakes Al up, saying, Al, wake up, wake up, something's weird going on. And yeah, yeah, that's where I'm going to end it, because I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have I just came up with this on the dot. I was, I was thinking about this idea for a while, but it was, it was going to, it was supposed to be better than what I said. So I don't know, I, I might. I have a script too. Fuck, I forgot I had a script for this. Oh well, we're going with this. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.